Hey everyone, welcome, welcome. Uh, this is Hit It or Quit It. And how we came up with that name is... Huh? Are you going to hit the mark Come on. in your marriage? Are you going to hit that first year anniversary, fifth year, 10th year, 25, 50 years? Oof. Are you going to hit it or are you going to quit? Come on. Before you have to. Mm. Are you going to quit because of challenges that we are going to talk about that you can overcome together? This is 25 years. We've been through it all. Yes. There's nothing we can't tell you, nothing we can't teach you. Experience has taught us a lot. So we had to make up in our minds, are we going to hit it? Are we going to hit this with all that we have? Or are we going to quit Come on. and go to divorce court? That's right. And we decided to hit it. Hit it. Yeah. And here we are. And Quitting we want to help you do option. the same thing. Quitting is not an option. All right. All right. So when we talk about hit it in your uh, in your season, in your journey of this life, are you hitting the mark? Are you hitting your destiny? Are you hitting your purpose, your goal, uh, God's will in your life? Are you hitting that? Or are you quitting along the journey, along the way? Are you quitting what God has predestined in your heart and, you know, the, the passion that you have, the goals that you have, uh, being an instrument of the Lord? And so are you, are you hitting the mark or are you quitting it? So that's what, how we came up with that with that yeah. concept, especially yeah. in relationships. So. introductory video just to let you guys know how we met you know things like that so we are so excited yeah we're gonna uh really dedicate this channel to bringing hope right honey uh yeah. encouragement um and just wherever wh wherever phase of your life you are in as far as relationships whether you're looking for a, a husband or a wife or you've been in it for six months married a year married uh or maybe midway you know eight years, 10 years, or veterans like us, you know, 20 plus years. Um, this is just a channel dedicated to just bring inspiration, bring hope, uh, just allowing our journey to be an encouragement to you guys, especially yes. with what God has done in our lives. So yes. uh, today we're just gonna be talking a little bit about how we actually met, uh, the introduction on, on that, and uh, kind of give you guys a, a basis of where we're coming from. Um, I'm originally from Brazil. I've been in the, the States for a long time. And I met Paula uh, probably like 1992. I had graduated high school and came up here to Columbus, Ohio to go to Bible college. And that's when I, uh, I first saw, you know, her in church and stuff like that. So, uh, but it was kind of interesting because at the time I wasn't really looking for anyone to date. I was just focused at in Bible Bible school, and uh, but as time as time went on, I think she kept catching my eye more and more. And no, you guys. So <laughs> let me tell you, you know, us women we like details. Oh, so let me give you some details. So I'm from Akron, Ohio. A town. What's up, Akron, Ohio? And I was getting ready for Bible college and. Since I was like 
man, seven or eight. Like, you know how you want to be something when you grow up. So I'm like, I always wanted to be a wife and a mother. That was my dream. Some we want to be doctors, nurses, like a lot of different occupations. But my dream was to be a wife and mother. So I prayed for my husband from a very, very, very young age. And so um, had a lot of suitors um, once we, you know, in high school, Bible college, all that. It's just like, I just wanted, you know, someone. Um, I was basically looking for someone to take care of my heart. Like I wasn't so much into the money thing um, because I knew that could come. Um, I wasn't even so much, oh, he gotta look like this, he gotta have that. I was looking for someone um, to take care of my heart, you know, because a lot of us um, did not grow up with fathers. So we really don't know how that looks. And a lot of times, like, we can look at God and put him in that box as well. It's like we look at God how our earthly fathers treated or did us or left us or whatever the situation may be. So I was really looking for someone to, you know, really take care of and cherish my heart. I also at a very young age thought, who's gonna raise my kids? I want a father that's gonna be a good father to my children. So even at a young age, I'm thinking of all of this. Who's gonna raise my kids? And so happened, God gave us three boys, <laughs> three sons that is gonna be husbands and fathers you know what i'm saying so they needed a good role model so all of that was important to me so i met claudio um like he said he wasn't ready to date and i'm just like what and then he was like well it's not time for me to date and i was like well is god telling you that or your family you know that type of thing if i'm ready to date like i'm like let's go you know what i mean <laughs> so it was so funny well, so at the time it was a little bit of both his family and god <laughs> I thought so, right, y'all? So funny. Like I'm like, oh okay, this is not just you. This is your family. But you bring up a very good point when it comes to yeah, uh, looking what to look for in a relationship, especially at the beginning, mm -hmm. especially for being so young, whether yes. it be in your you know late teens, early twenties. But you weren't just looking, I, I, myself included. We weren't just looking at the physical appearance right or you know the status or anything like that even though you know <clears throat> i mean that was that that was you, you know, know i mean it's, it's, it's a t she's a 10 so but uh that was that was the doorway that opened up to everything else but but i will have to say this though paula if you remember like when i when we started to just you know talk as friends and stuff you know we would go uh, to a lot of you know restaurants stuff like that with a group of people from from the, the school and so it was at the beginning it was just a lot of us involved but once I got to start start to getting to know her and stuff um, I did notice that like where she came from the environment that she came from didn't she didn't match that environment so she you know if you want to talk a little bit about your your yeah, as I was saying, like, um, didn't grow up with a father. My parents got a divorce, John, so my mother raised me. And so, like, um, I'm sure those of you that was raised with just a mom can relate, especially when your mom is strong. You know, I wasn't used to see my mom submit to a man. My mom didn't have boyfriends. My mom didn't have that stuff around her kids. She was a very protective mom, and she was very strong. So everything that I learned... Um, I learned from her and so when it came to dating and submission and all that I'm like hold up like what no like don't tell me what to do you know like I'm like I'm used to a woman being in control I'm used to but you know God told us to do that so that's something I definitely had to learn but yeah like um, my, my mom raised five kids by herself and um, she did a great job you know, I'm the woman I am today because of her and especially because of the Lord. But it was like, you know, I just really, really was careful at a young age and like making sure to pray specifically for what you want is very, very important. Even if it's down to looks, occupation, like whatever, like just don't let it be like superficial. Mm -hmm. Just like, like the stuff that like really matters because yeah. money that'll come. That can come anytime. Looks, 
that'll change, right? Like, sex is sex. So it's like, okay, you know, really, you know, I want to encourage you not to look at things like superficially, but like really pray for the heart of your spouse, the mind of your spouse, the parent that's going to be over your children, like things like that, that's going to last, that's going to shape you, that's going to shape your children. You know, really, really, I would encourage you to look for that. And so I believe that God puts those desires in our hearts too, because like I said, I didn't have a good role model. I didn't have, you know, a father around me, like a lot of things. I grew up in my marriage. I grew up in my marriage and you know, with God, all things are possible. I think one of our cups say that. Mine yes. says love never fails. <laughs> yeah, this is it. With God, all things are possible. Yeah, so. And actually, that, that's, a, that's a great point you bring up. Yeah. Because, like, you, you mentioned things, you know, even including sex. Uh, we'll, we'll be talking a little bit more about the sex piece at a different episode. Yeah. But I'll just say this right now. Um, the, the world's version of what sex looks like is extremely superficial, extremely superficial. Mm -hmm. um, there is no um, spiritual connection or connection in the in the emotions and the soul when it comes to the world's version of sex. It's very objective, very shallow, and that's why most people, especially the biggest lie that the enemy sells with that, Paul, as you know, is when people are not married, they make this big thing about sex. But then, so the culture says, as soon as you get married, it's like, you know, marriage falls into a, a dip or whatever. Right. I beg to differ. Right. Because it is in the, is, is, it's in the spiritual connection that actually strengthens the relationship mm -hmm. through intimacy right. than just the physical act right. of, of, of sex. You right. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, But that's for another episode. But... Um, yeah, I, I was I was raised by my mom and dad. Uh, you know, they were they were married for thirty five years, and and they got a divorce after thirty five years. And we're gonna talk about that too uh, on another on another time. But uh, during those times of marriage, my mom and dad displayed to me, you know, the the and it was and it was a good it was a good upbringing. Um, they were pastors. They did a fantastic job in exemplifying how to live, you know, a godly, righteous, true Christian life, uh, not just in the church, but also at home. And so that made a humongous impact on my life on, you know, how to like, you know, be a Christian first and foremost, uh, be a father, be a husband. Um, but in, in, the, in the beginnings, Paul is saying she was praying for certain things not just the you know the checkbox of the physical the the security and all that stuff but the heart the character and i was praying for the exact same thing you know i was praying for you know lord let, let her have you know a, a, a heart you know for you a, a god fearing heart uh you know a, 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 god, a heart that loves the lord that cherishes families and stuff like that and god answered prayers listen man god does answer prayers but you got to be willing to pray them and you got to be consistent in praying them and believe in and believe in them. Mm -hmm. And I mean, that was 1995 when we, you know, first started to get to know one another really good. Um, I think we were 19. I, no, no, I was, let me see. We? Well, actually I said 92, but I came to Ohio in 92, but I didn't mm -hmm. really meet you until I think it was like 94. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, that's right. Ninety four, ninety five. So we were like teenagers. Yeah, we were young. I think I was, tw I was nine, twenty. I yeah. was twenty. I think I was eighteen. Yeah, twenty, twenty one. Yeah. And then, uh, and then after a while, after, then we started. So, I remember, it was was it a game? I, yes. I was playing basketball. Yeah, I was playing yes. basketball, and, <laughs> and, mm -hmm. and then, uh, uh, I went up to. Paul and I was like, hey, you know, I got a game coming up. We, I, we had a, 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 a the, the school had like a couple teams and they had like intramural league and stuff. So I was like, hey, you know, we got a game this Saturday, whatever. You want you want to come and, and watch me play? Mm -hmm. But you also found out that I had asked someone else, right? I did. You had eggs, 
party. <laughs> so it was so funny because we lived in the dorms for Bible college. And I'm so excited. Like, I'm telling all my friends, like, oh, Claudia invited me to this game. Claudia invited me to this game. And I go in the bathroom to get ready because, you know, you share the bathroom in the dorms. And this other girl is in there putting on her makeup, getting ready. And I'm like, oh, where are you going? We're asking each other, where are you going? You look pretty. What you doing? And she's like, oh, this guy named Claudio, he invited me to his game. Y'all, I was like, really? <laughs> really? <laughs> Y'all, I could have fell on that floor for real. Like, really? Like, you invited both of us. We in the bathroom getting ready together. Like, what's the chances of that? Like, God was exposing him. But wait. Hold on. Hold on a second. Time out. I was like, Cause... no, he didn't. <laughs> no. I was... Trust me, y'all. I was the farthest thing. I wish he would have ended up where from a from a <laughs> player. The farthest thing. You don't mean that. The he didn't far, see like the it did. I did. You're you're my first official, like official official girlfriend. <laughs> I mean, I I dated a girl for like three months, long distance. She lived like an hour and a half away, and so I don't even count that. I I think I only saw her like maybe a handful of times. So I don't I don't even. Really, <laughs> I mean, I'm not that relationship per se, but so I wasn't like you know. For, and then I, for the for y'all that don't know, we were both virgins when we got married. Yes. So I was that. That's why I said I'm the farthest thing from a, a, a player and stuff like that. I just looked at it as a friend at the time, you know. And and I just you know, uh, guys and girls, we just had a lot of friends and stuff. And so I had asked the other girl just as a you know as a as a courtesy of a friend. Mm -hmm. But she took that the other way. But of course, when y'all like women, come on. Y'all be like, what? You going to this game? You're not thinking this girl is going as a friend. No, you invited her like you invited yeah, me. Yeah, looking back now, I, I look at that. I'm like, oh, wow, yeah, I can see that. That's, that's, pretty, that's pretty messed mm -hmm. up. That was messed up. <laughs> and then he got told, she ain't the one. I was like, yeah, it's getting Lord. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? You're right. <laughs> yeah, he got yeah. told, like, you get yeah, with her, you're going to destroy your life. Yeah. And guess what? See, that's what I'm saying. Y'all pray. Like, pray. God knows god knows everything and it's just worth it to pray and here we are 25 years later 25 years our son will be 23 next month next month like it's just crazy it's like what like our oldest son will be 23 next month it doesn't even seem real but i'm telling you guys with god all things are possible. All things are possible. All things. All things. So we're excited. We're excited to take you guys on this journey with us. It's going to be exciting. We have so much to share, of course, for dating couples, yeah. for young couples. Like I said, we were 21 and 23 when we got married. Mm -hmm. So dating couples, young couples, Older couples, like, we got some time in the game, okay? So, we know, like, like they say, you know, life experiences is the best teacher. You know what I'm saying? And I believe that with all of my heart. No textbook, no person, none of the sort taught me or teach me what experience has taught me mm -hmm. in marriage. Mm -hmm. So, we are so excited mm -hmm. to share and pass along everything we know because marriage and family is so important, first of all, to God. And second of all, to us, you know, like marriage and family is very important. And so we are so excited to take you guys on this journey with us. I see so many pages that I feel is misrepresentatives of marriage and family the way god ordained it to be and i like get so angry because i'm like you're misrepresenting what god said right. marriage is That's right. and i get so <laughs> angry so like i would just be fussing to myself and i heard god so clearly say to me what are you going to do about it mm -hmm. you have a platform just like they do you're my mouthpiece you're my eyes you're my ears like you know tell them what i want marriage to look like <laughs> What marriage really is, how you supposed to persevere, how you supposed to forgive, how you supposed to love, how you supposed to be understanding, all how things. you supposed to be intimate all, all, yeah. in more ways than just sex. Yeah. Yeah. Like we're, we're about to take you on a ride. You, what you're going to get is us. 
is no performance, no, I'm like this in front of the camera, I'm like that outside. No. Oh, this Y'all don't get deal. us. This is the real this deal. This is the real deal. Yeah, like, this is not, you know, we're, we're not into perception and this or that. Yeah. Uh, God has made us who we are and we've, we've endured, uh, well, I shouldn't even say endured, that's a bad word, but we've been through this journey together uh, through good and the bad struggles, you know, blessings. And we're going to take you through all that. But I, I do want to say this as a, as a piece of encouragement to some of you guys listening. Um, if, you're, if you are divorced um, or you have a, in a relationship that is either fractured or, or hurting um, and, you know, you just and there's a lot of a lot of a lot of hurt in that relationship. And just remember this that nothing i mean we we, we say it, but we we live it nothing is impossible to god if you are divorced god is a god of restoration and of redemption if one marriage if you know previous marriage didn't didn't uh, go right or marriages didn't go right didn't go off you know my advice to you to you listening is Take time with God before you move on to the next relationship. Spend some time praying. Spend yeah. some time seeking the Lord. Mm -hmm. Spend some time being healed for yourself first and foremost. And say, Lord, heal my heart. Prepare my heart for the next relationship. Yeah. Because that is critical. So many rebound relationships ends up worse than the previous relationship. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't you agree with that? I honey? totally agree. I mean, and it's important, it's critical, man. Like, and, and that's why for us, this is not a, a, you know, shoving down of Christianity. This is reality. Look, it's reality. God created marriage. He created the blueprint. And why most relationships are jacked up is because they are not going by the blueprint of the original architect, which is God. He created it. So it's awesome that we're we're super excited about this super excited uh, journey, man. But uh, but so yeah, so that's how we met. We met in Bible college, and yeah. uh, we kind of went on a different path a little bit, but that's all right. But I, 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 let me uh, we can share how how we you know say how we uh, how we uh, got engaged. Oh, you go ahead. <laughs> so last thing we'll say is this for this for this uh, time here. Um, before I proposed to her. We had broken up about half a dozen times. I would say more. More? Six, it was more than six times? Yes. Yeesh. Mm -hmm. That's pretty bad. So, as a matter of fact, I remember <laughs> one of my brothers. Woo! <laughs> so funny. One of my brothers was like, what are you doing? It's like, man, you're just practicing for divorce. <laughs> Well, he told me that. I thought that was so funny. So, but anyways, uh, we can share a, a certain part about one of the breakups at another time. But yeah. uh, how we finally got, you know, engaged was I went to her mom and I told her mom, I said, I, I would like your daughter's hand in marriage. Um, and then her mom was like, are you sure? You know, don't 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 play, don't don't mess around, don't. Because I'm her baby. Yeah, we're she's both the youngest. The baby. We're, we're the youngest of our family, so yeah. <clears throat> her mom was really like, uh, "You better, you know, don't don't mess with her heart." You know, I said, "No, I'm serious." And so she gave us our blessing, and uh, she gave you know me her blessing, and uh, it was the Fourth of July, and I at the time I drove a little eighty four. Uh, Volkswagen Rabbit. And my family was like, what are you doing with him? It was a convertible. Understand. It was a, a, a oh my hey. gosh. <laughs> little small little thing. Like, I'm 6'4", so I'm like, I'm fitting into this little tiny yeah. metal box. But uh, it was a convertible. So anyways, I took it to the what they call the 4th of July here. And um, I was, you know, I had the ring. I had showed her mom the ring. And my, my thing was I want to, you know, uh, propose at the, at the finale, right? So, you know, the music's going on and the fireworks are going off. And then we had the top down. And so we, so we were like standing on the seat, you know, uh, like with, a, with our top half above the car. And so when the finale came, you know, I turned around and I proposed and she said, yes. And then the rest is history. The rest is history. Hallelujah. Three sons later, 14, 
19, 22. The rest is history. So that's all it. All tall giants. Y'all will definitely meet them soon. CJ goes to Boston College, which is our Otis. He is getting his master's. He's on a full ride scholarship <laughs> for basketball. He is an awesome, awesome player. So we're excited about him. Kylan, our 19 year old, he is a musician. He is a drummer. He loves the drums. He's a drummer for our church. He's a drummer for our yeah. church. He does a wonderful job. Puts his whole heart in and I love it. He's a worship Kaden, our 14 year old, he is a basketball player. He loves media. He does the media for our church at 14 yeah. and he does a great job. So we're so proud and so excited for you to meet all three of our sons. Definitely. Definitely. If you ha if you guys have any questions or any topics that you would like us to cover or talk about, please leave them down in our comment section and we will be sure to go over those topics. So don't forget to click and subscribe. Hey, listen, if you don't like it, you can always change your mind later. But uh, we are trying to get to a thousand subscribers and we would love, 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 love if you helped us and, you know, and uh, participated with us in this journey. And uh, we will see you on the next topic.